Hello and welcome back to Iran Travel Guide. We're here in the beautiful Garden of Eram in the city of Shiraz. Shiraz is famous for its gardens as we know and as you look around you can see beautiful examples of different types of trees, some of which are believed to be very very old. Yes and these gardens apart from having a cultural and historic aspect mm -hmm. they have another important point and that is the, the, like for example in the Aram garden we have botanic gardens mm -hmm. botanic gardens where you can find more than 3,000 3, types of plants in this garden mm -hmm. and Iran not specifically this garden the country of Iran is a very good country for planting mm -hmm. so it has a very good agriculture so there are universities who come here to, to use this characteristic to be able to do work and research on different types of plants, mm -hmm. use it for traditional medicines, use it mm -hmm. for, for many different things. There's research both modern and old going on here and the, the, the important thing to recognize is just how the different climates that Iran has can all be reflected here by even different amounts of water, shade, heat and so on. So we can find a lot of different types of plants. There's also in here, there's a very famous rose garden, which has over 300 different types of roses alone. The best month to come and see this is April, when the roses are in full bloom. Hopefully we'll be able to show you that a little bit later on. Um, but there's also various different types of trees, including one very special tree, which a lot of poets and philosophers talk about. Yes, we have in this garden a tree which is called Sarvanaz. This tree, which is a cypress tree, it is believed that it's more than 3,000 years old. And 3,000 years old, it's not mm -hmm. a short time. It's, no. a, it's a very old tree. And the cypress tree is a symbol uh, of strength, of life, and is used by poets in their talks about the gardens. Many ghazals, which are sort of sonnet-like forms of poem, are written about the sarv and various other trees, but this one is special to the Iranian character. Oh, that's true, and not only poets, mm -hmm. even in paintings, in the tile designs, in mm -hmm. any different types of art, you can see these sort of trees, these sort mm -hmm. of plants, which are used as symbols to, to reach a meaning, to reach mm -hmm. a a concept. And not only is it a symbol that's been used by these people, it's a symbol that seems to have transcended dynasties and transcended uh, sort of various kingdoms. Different kingdoms have ruled here, as we know, we've gone from ancient Persia to the modern day, and there's so many changes that have gone on there, such a rich cultural heritage. But the Sarv, for some reason, Uh, how long have you been in Iran? How many days? Um, ten, ten days. Uh, ten days, I think. And what have, what have you liked so far? What has been the best thing for you? The best? The people. The people. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the people. And the The buildings. The monument. Uh -huh. uh, and the city. Mm -hmm. uh, the or clothes. Uh huh. Sure. The yeah, the roses there, the flowers. The roses. Yes, yeah. In this city. Uh huh. Very nice. Did you know about the history of Iran before? Before you came. Before you uh, came. Little, little. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Wait. Little. Uh -huh. You can read. You mm. uh, you can learn in school. But uh -huh. now you can. We can see. Yes. <laughs> it's so, very important. So, how has your experience been so far in Iran? Has it been a good experience? Uh, no, it's the uh, first. In, oh, no, in Iran. Sure. no, I mean, have you have you had a good time? You had you had a good time here. You enjoyed here. in Iran? Yes, yes. yes. Mm, well, you liked it? it. It's yes. very very beautiful, uh -huh. and, uh, and it's the people. Um, the people is very uh, uh, friendly. Amicable. <laughs> oui. uh, uh, 
full, full smile. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And, and uh, uh, very it's, smiley. Uh, uh, the people uh, come for for speak with. Uh -huh. uh, speak to you. Uh, uh, uh. It's uh, come on. Mm. Uh, En français, s'il vous plaît. Euh, très, euh, nous avons... oui, en surprise. Français. Surprise. 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 Yeah. surprise. Ah. Right. Very good. So very good. Very uh -huh. yeah. Great. Um, if we could just ask you, just to give one one message to the camera for the people watching, mm -hmm. what would you say about Iran to them? We can uh, say it in French. In French or in English? Yeah. Uh, merci uh, à tous les, les Iraniens et les Iraniennes de, mm -hmm. de leur accueil, de leur sourire. Mm -hmm. Et euh, nous, nous, savions, nous savions que vous aviez un joli pays, mm -hmm. mais nous le découvrons et nous allons le faire savoir encore plus. Uh -huh. uh, so he wants to thank the Iranian people for their welcome, for their hospitality, and says it's a very beautiful country, a very pretty country, and that you should come here as well. Nous so. allons faire de la publicité à nos amis pour qu'ils viennent aussi. Yeah, <laughs> don't, 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 believe, don't believe the advert about it. Come here and experience for yourself. So, very good. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Muhammad Ghaffari, titled as Kamal al mulk the greatest Iranian artist and painter. Yes, he was born in Kashan in the middle of the 19th century, but grew up there, grew up there and moved around the world. He even went to Paris and studied in Europe, meeting such greats of the modernist movement as Picasso. And in his time when he was traveling, he met a lot of great people, as you mentioned. And also, he learned a lot of things, so he started his own style and brought it to Iran. Yes, his style was really an interesting mix of both classical Persian techniques and modern techniques being developed in Europe at the time. He brought together these in a synthesis that really created something unique and special, and created a school of painting which produced some of the best Iranian art of the 20th century. His major style is European naturalistic. His grave and mausoleum is in the city of Neshabur, in northeast of Iran. And in this place, as you can see in the background, is his grave and this wonderful monument around his grave, which has been designed and built by Hushang Sehun, the very famous Iranian architecture. Yes, his architecture has gone to many cities, especially in the northeast. Mashhad is, has a lot of his architecture. And it makes real, really interesting viewing to see all the different monuments that he's created, really creating a style to the, stru to the structures that commemorate all the great people that have come from this area. So if you're an art person or if you love paintings, you should know, first of all, about this great person. And then, as a respect, you should come to Neshabur and show your respect to this great painter. We're gonna go to his grave, say hello to him. And
you know that like he started the school in Iran in the Gajar dynasty time and he he have a lot of students who later became like the great painter of the country you've seen a lot of his work no, in we, different we museums to, we went to the museum in Tehran of his and his school as well it's very interesting to see that legacy of his as well it's really still alive and going today yeah. which is great very peaceful here. Mm, it is. Welcome back to Iran Travel Guide. Hope you're enjoying being with us as we've taken you to this lovely forest called Gisum in the north of Iran. This forest is located in the uh, 18 kilometers on the east side of Talesh city which is in Gilan province and it's one of the most magical places that you can imagine. Yes this forest is where the sea and the mountain forests meet creating a unique environment which is both humid, warm and perfect environment for plants to grow in. And the plants, the plants here, you can find over 76 different type of species of plants in this forest, which are both trees and also there are special types of herbs, which uh, it belongs to this area and you won't be able to find it anywhere else. No, a lot of these herbs are used for medicinal purposes as well as for the cooking which gives the cuisine of the region a very unique flavour. People do come here all the time from different cities to spend some time here for their picnics, for just having some peaceful time here. It is a beautiful area and you can see in the background how lovely it is. Yes, I mean, it's very accessible but at the same time we can get away from it all and find ourselves in such a place like this, just a few minutes drive from the nearby cities. So be with us, we're going to have a look around this beautiful place and listen to the beautiful sounds of the birds. Have a look around. 